Quickie to the left. Lewis's Law, coined by feminist Helen Lewis, says, The comments on any article about feminism justify feminism. Feminists adhere to this law quite unironically, even when they've never heard of it and they're just doing it, often while violating Godwin's law. For example, someone pointing out a fundamental, behavioral, or preferential difference between men and women will be attacked on the grounds that certain such differences have been used in the past to justify the oppression of women. But that doesn't mean that the claim is wrong. If you want to play that game, Egalitarian collectivism was used to justify the millions of deaths by the Bolsheviks or the Stalinists or the Maoists. So can you at least be consistent? But not only will the comment be dismissed as sexist, it'll be used as proof that feminism is justified and sexist attacks against women are everywhere. That also makes any possible attempt at criticism a Kafka trap. I mean, yeah, trolls will post hateful comments. And spoiler alert, but they do that to everyone, not just women. But other people will post insightful comments that just disagree with you. You can't just lump them all together and use the existence of the hateful comments to justify dismissing the insightful ones. Ironically, this has been used against Lewis herself, because although she's a feminist, she's not an intersectional feminist. Therefore, anything she says against intersectionalism is a justification for intersectionalism. Of course, what they're missing is what these quickies have covered several times over. If you can explain everything, you can't explain anything. If there's no possible comment someone can make that would show your position to be unjustified, that itself makes your position unjustified. If any comment that might disprove you can be hand-waved as sea-lioning, mansplaining, concern-trolling, or whatever the latest buzzword is, then all you've done is eliminate yourself and everyone else involved from the set of people who can contribute to the progress of mankind.